As you know, the cardinal rule for copywriting is that you never state a feature without also stating a benefit. For example, this tie I'm wearing is silk. That's a feature. It's not wool, it's not polyester, it's silk. But what is the benefit of a silk tie? What is the benefit of silk over wool or polyester? Well, because of its natural protein structure, silk is the most hypoallergenic of all fabrics. It's great for people with allergies. Silk is also great in all climates. It's warm and cozy in winter, and it's comfortably cool in summer. Silk is highly absorbent, and it dries quickly. It can absorb up to 30% of its weight in moisture without feeling damp. And despite its delicate appearance, silk is robust, and its smooth surface resists soil and odors. Those are the benefits. If you're counting, that's six benefits of silk. One feature, six benefits. Your job as a copywriter is to discover every benefit of every feature of the product you're promoting. Your next job is to rank those benefits in order of their appeal and importance to potential buyers. Your final job is to write those benefits into your copy. Let me show you an example of what I mean. This ad is for Volkswagen. It appeared in the 1960s as part of a campaign that is considered the most successful campaign of all time. You'll notice that the visual and the headline use a classic Volkswagen advertising tactic. They ask a question that's answered in the body copy. The stubby nose on the Volkswagen is a feature, but Volkswagen states this feature in the form of a question. The answer to this question will contain the benefits. So you read the opening line of copy, and here's what it says. The Volkswagen doesn't need a long front hood because the engine's in the back of the car. Now that is clearly reason number one for why the nose is stubby, but it does not deliver a benefit. By the way, did you notice the redundancy in that sentence? They say the Volkswagen doesn't need a long front hood. The hood on a car is always at the front. So it's redundant to call the hood at the front, the front hood. Avoid redundancies like that, but I digress. The writer continues, it makes for a shorter car so you can move in and out of traffic. That's benefit number one. And you can move in and out of tight little parking spots. That's benefit number two. And another redundancy. They say you can move in and out of tight parking spots. By definition, parking spots are little, so calling a tight parking spot a tight little parking spot is also redundant. But I digress. <laughs> the writer says your chances of denting a fender in a Volkswagen are practically nil. That's benefit number three. The Volkswagen's short hood lets you look down your nose at the road for better visibility. This is benefit number four, a better view of the road. The rest of the ad describes other things that are on the Volkswagen for good reasons and concludes by saying that the Volkswagen depreciates slowly and stays in style year after year. Do a word count and you'll discover that this copywriter found four benefits of the Volkswagen stubby nose and worked them into the first 80 words of the ad where they count the most. Remember, for every feature of your product, there are usually multiple benefits. Your job is to discover them all, rank them in order of their importance to buyers, and then spell them out in your copy one after the other. The benefit of doing so is simple. People will buy your product.